Raise your hand if you talk just because you like the sound of your own voice. No, of course not. No one speaks just to speak. We speak so that people will understand us, so that people will respond, engage, learn something, or react. Speaking is something anyone can do, but speaking so that people actually understand you, especially if you're speaking in a foreign language, is a skill. If it's a skill you want to learn, keep watching. Sometimes we get so focused on remembering our main points during a business presentation or so excited by the story we're telling to a conversation partner that we forget to check in to see if the people who are on the other end are actually listening and understanding. This is incredibly important, especially if the person or people you are talking to are non-native speakers of the language you're speaking, and if you yourself are a non-native speaker. Many people, whether it's out of pride, cultural differences, or politeness, don't speak up when they don't understand someone. I get it. It can be embarrassing to ask someone to repeat themselves. That's why it's up to you, the speaker, to make sure your message gets across. I'm going to give you some super easy techniques that can make it more likely that the people you're talking to will understand you. Are you ready to get started? My first tip is to ask questions from time to time. This keeps your audience alert and is the easiest way for you to check whether or not they understood you. And I have a question for you. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If yes, great. If not, click that subscribe button and the bell icon to make sure you don't miss our next video. If you're talking to more than one person, try your best to adapt your language to the person with the most basic level. Even if your language feels very simple, at least you won't be leaving anyone out. Once you know the level of your audience, make changes to your speech, such as your speed. Be sure to speak slowly and clearly, and pause every once in a while to let listeners take in what they've just heard. Reminding yourself to slow down is also helpful if you are nervous about speaking a foreign language. Obviously, you'll be much easier to understand if you use short, simple sentences than long, winding, complex sentences. What you say is usually more important than how you say it. You may want to have a look at the Globish word list or another similar set of restricted vocabulary if you're preparing a speech or a presentation in a foreign language, especially if there will be non-native speakers of that language in attendance. This way, you're less likely to use words that your audience won't understand. In order to not use words that are too difficult, practice using paraphrases or circumlocution to express yourself. That is the technique of speaking indirectly about something, using more words than you might normally to avoid a certain word or phrase. If you're getting blank stares and you suspect that your audience didn't understand, even if they don't say so, go ahead and repeat yourself. But rather than repeating the exact same phrase, which may include words they don't know, reword the most important sentences. Expressions usually aren't translated literally into other languages, so you're very likely to mistranslate expressions or confuse non-native speakers. For example, if you try to translate the French expression avoir d'autres chats à fouetter literally into English, you may end up with some angry animal rights activists knocking on your door. Ah! 
Much the same, humor is different in every country and culture. So what is funny to you might not make sense or worse, be offensive to someone else. This goes back to my second point, knowing who you're speaking to and whether attempting to be funny in a foreign language is risky or not. Visual aids can include pictures or charts, but also body language and miming. Some researchers say that less than 10% of communication is verbal. The other 90 or so percent is body language and your tone of voice. And finally, in some situations, it can be helpful to go back over your main points with input from the person or people you're speaking to if possible. If you're having a conversation about what needs to get done for a party you're organizing, summarize everyone's tasks, or even better, ask each person to summarize them for you. For a work meeting, give a recap of all the important decisions that were made to ensure that everyone understood the same information. And if you use English or Spanish as a foreign language at work, be sure to download the Mozalingua Business English or Business Spanish app for vocabulary that can help you do this. So there you have it, my tips for making sure that your message gets across clearly. Here they are again. Ask questions to test for comprehension. Find out the language level of the people you are speaking to and adjust your vocabulary, sentence structures, and speed accordingly. For example, Remind yourself to speak slowly. Use short, simple sentences. And limit your vocabulary to the most common words using the paraphrase or circumlocution techniques if needed. Repeat important information using other words. Avoid metaphors and abstract expressions, which often aren't translated literally and can cause confusion. Avoid humor, which is easily misinterpreted. Use visual aids and body language and summarize what you said with listener participation if possible. I hope these tips will help make your next conversation go a little more smoothly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. If you learned something new from this video, give it a thumbs up, then hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. Have a look around our channel for more hacks and tips. And if you're watching on another social media platform, like or follow our page. See you next time.